What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 3. I hope everybody's doing alright. I'm doing amazing. And I've got to show you something that I've been working on uh, in between episodes. It's got to do with chisel and bits. Uh, because it's pretty cool. I gotta admit I love that mod. And you can do pretty cool things with it. Uh, also, I want to say that we are uh, now on the last version of Sky Factory 3. And uh, the reason I updated wasn't because I wanted to be on the last version. It was because uh, when I was getting in, well, everyone, when they were getting in the game, opening a new game, we add 1 to 3 FPS. In single player, new world, this server, anywhere, it was something weird with the version that just happened instantly. So we don't know what the hell happened. If like, I don't know how it's even possible that suddenly the version decided to do that. And I even tried to reinstall the version to uh, restart the server. Nothing wanted to work. And even in single player, I had the same problem. But uh, let me show you what I've done with uh, Chisel and Bits. I don't, I don't want you to see. I don't want you to see. So, bam! <laughs> this place, I love the way it looks. So what I did is I made like a, a little thing inside of the block. And so now we've got the black, we've got the red over here. It's all being carved. Uh, I even did the contour of the glowstone with the pillars. Uh, we've got here a little arch at the top. And I even made the little design over here. You know... Just, just the, the, the good stuff. Just the good stuff. And I really like it. <laughs> I actually really do. It's uh, different. Of course, oh, I also made those little pedestal. Uh, I don't know if we're actually going to need them. I was just I was just thinking about making pedestals, so I made one. And yeah, I was pretty happy with uh, how it turned out. Over here, I just made little three, three little circle. Uh, three little squares on each side there or there. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this is. Uh, so what I've done at the bottom currently, uh, this is all quite clear glass. So you can actually see the bottom of it. Uh, these are the levels at which uh, we will put the altar. And this is what pretty much we need to work on for today. Uh, we want to work on making uh, a higher level tier of an altar so that we can uh, get more stuff. And this is where I'm at. So currently, if we take our Division Edition Sigil, uh, if we click here, we are Tier 3. To get to Tier 4... Uh, no. Uh, blood Magic. Oh, yes, true. New thing, search, enable. There we go. So now if I click a blood magic we should have the mod perfect so to get to the next level we pretty much just need to get the next level of the altar set up so it's another tier so if we go at the bottom it's so weird because you feel like you're dropping into the void uh, it's to fill this one in uh, and the tier three if i remember correctly has uh, it it has uh beacon on the corners i'm not 100 per sure percent sure but i'm quite certain it has something similar to that i'm currently trying to open my image uh so actually i'm wrong it is the blood level uh to get the blood you need to have not the dagger of sacrifice Maybe they have changed. You need to have a weak blood shard. And to get this, you need to kill monsters with normally a certain sword that I can't see. A bound blade. There we go. So you need a binding agent. So you need to have this. Uh, let's get that thing going. Uh, Alright, so the binding agent... I'm trying to find it. Uh, binding agent. Alright, let's, let's just do this. Uh, we'll find it here. There we go. So the binding region, not agent. 
Uh, so redstone, glowstone, gunpowder, and gold. So let's go like this. Let's go like that. Let's go like so. And then a little bit of gold. Alright. Uh, also, I've upgraded my region. Uh, not my region, my uh, Tartaric Gems. Uh, I think I should have one still left somewhere. Uh, I don't know where. That's not the one. I had one with a lot of stuff in it. For some reason it disappeared. Hmm. Huh. Oh, wait. Yeah, I placed it here. So there you go. So you've got one here. Uh, I don't know if this is actually going to be enough. Yeah, I think you need to have this one on. So that means that I'm going to have to go kill uh, more. But what I'm going to do is... I think we're going to make a mob farm for this. Uh, I will put it in... Hmm, I don't know which, dimen which dimension. Uh... Maybe we can make like a little farm of this in the nether. So I'm going to go find a blaze spawner because we're going to use blaze. Why not? And I'm going to prepare the farm in the nether and I'll bring you guys back after. All right, guys. So I made the farm in the nether. I got a little bit of a will in there and I wanted to see. Yep, it's not working. <laughs> oh, I need e Oh, minimum 400 will. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm going to show you the, the farm. Uh, it's a manual farm. I know some people said that uh, I could do an automatic one just by putting like swords like that in there. And I might eventually do it. Uh, but yeah, so it's pretty much just a spawner. And I make them go around. And then over there they get dropped in. Uh, the thing is, I should have made the drop longer, just so that I'm lower and they can still spawn, I think would have been the best idea. Also, I could put some uh, dirt, cursed earth under, and that way they would always spawn, which would work if I uh, make a bunch of those. So yeah, pretty much that. that's what I'm doing, and I need to reach... Uh, quite a long way to go 216 is if you guys know if there's a way to transfer will from one gem to another that would be really cool to know uh simply because i would really love to just transfer the will like it's i find it a little bit stupid that you can't well if you can uh would be really nice to do it. Alright guys, well, I'm gonna continue doing this. Uh, trying to reach 400. About 200. And uh, I'll bring you guys back after. Well, as it turns out, it didn't take that much time. It didn't take that much time. I thought it would take more. Uh, but it's actually not that bad. So, right now I've got 500. I didn't even see it passed. And there we go. So we're going to have that. Perfect. So we're going to have the binding agent. And the binding agent, well, you can get, you know, a couple of items from it. Uh, what we want, we want the binding blade. Uh, because the binding blade will allow us to actually kill mobs and get blood uh, runes from it. Uh, I think uh, blood shards. And so the first thing we're going to do is empty my inventory. Because uh, I've got too many things. Oh no. Sigil. Uh, I, need, I need to keep my sigil. It's kind of important at this point. Uh, let's put these in there. Oh, and by the way, I will remake the farm. I think I'm going to automate it. Uh, I think it's worth it. And I've got an idea to turn it on and off uh, if we run out of blades. Uh, okay, so this. We keep those. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I've got my arcane-ish in here, and sword, uh, diamond sword, there we go. So again, we're going to go like so, we're going to use the regent on it, oh wow, okay, and I'm 
simply thinking that I need more blood in my... Uh, <laughs> the, does it say... It doesn't say if you need, like, blood in your inventory, in, in your system. Not the weak, the magician. I don't know how much blood I have. I've got 18,000. Eh, we'll just try it. There we go. Oh, it didn't take anything. Oh, that's pretty cool. I hope it doesn't destroy anything. Because <laughs> I'm kind of next to my storage. Oh, nice. So there you go, Bound Blade. So if we shift right click, now it's a sword. And we're going to go back to this place here. And... Uh, it did that earlier too. I'm telling you, there's something wrong. Like... Now I've got this part, I don't got the top. But I don't have the right side, so the only way to, to fix this is to reload the area. So I'm gonna go back, then come back in, and sometimes it doesn't fix it, I need to like relog. It's kind of annoying when it happens. There we go, okay, so we're back. So yeah, I'm just gonna make this probably taller. Okay, so for this, you gotta be careful because I presume it takes LP. You see I'm losing blood in my system. There we go, so now we got a blood shard. Uh, so I presume... No, you, you need to kill mobs to, to get more. Uh, it used to be that you could have a recipe to actually get the shard another way uh, but as it seems that uh, it isn't the way for this okay so it's just something over time that's pretty cool so I'm going to have to stay here because I need to make oh no I need I need four so I will need two to make the next one, we'll need a demonic crystal wheel, which I have no idea how to do, so I'm gonna have to check this. <laughs> so many things I need to check with this new uh, way of doing things. Come on, give me another one! There we go, we've got two. And bam. Alright. So, uh, now let's shift right click so that it goes back into its bound form thingy. Uh, and now we've got two, so one of them is gonna go with stone to create the blood blocks, so just a piece of stone, and this is gonna give you the large blood thingy. Uh, and these are gonna go on top uh, of the next level. So let me prepare the next level, guys, and I'll bring you guys back chapter. Alright guys, well, as you can see, uh, a little bit of things happened. Well, I was doing the tier 4 and I remember the tier 5 is just beacons. So, there's nothing special about tier 5. So, it was kind of easy to get. Uh, the only thing I want to show you is, let's say I remove a block. The large bloodstone is still there, but it's the tier 3 altar. It is not, you need to have pillars below to actually make it to tier 5, well tier 4, and tier 5 is with beacons. So let's go under and let me show you uh, what's in here. <laughs> yes, there is a lot of sacrifice and a lot of runes of speed. So that means that things like uh, this, well, it will go faster. So we're still tier 2, and bam, it's done. <laughs> so it goes in here. Uh, I kind of forgot that I had those in here, so I still have like 
a couple in my system again. Uh, this I've got a couple in my system also. I've got the runes. I've got well, there's a bunch of things I've got in my system. But still, I'm like really, and I made like more of those even if I had 20 in here, and I have five extra of this one. Uh, one thing that I did not know that I just noticed is there is a guidebook that I did not know about. It's the Sanguine Scientium. Scientium. Yeah, that one. So there, there's a couple of things that you can see in an expected reaction, sentient armor, item rotting, demon will aura, different will, will type. So yeah, there's a couple of things, but uh, the first thing we're going to do is blood orb. There we go. Uh, so this is for tier four. And tier 5 is a nether star, but tier 4 needed 25,000. This one needs 80,000. I don't think it can keep up with that one. Uh, we're going to give it a try, but I'm pretty sure it's going to empty my uh, my mana pool. Uh, not my mana pool, my blood uh, altar. So let's fill it up. Yeah, <laughs> I can't keep with that. I can't keep up. It's just impossible. How, how can you keep up with this thing? So I might have to remove some speed and put some more sacrifice. Oh, wait, we've done it. It actually worked even if it emptied it. Oh, so... That means that, oh, by the way, if you didn't know you can do that, uh, once you've bind it to yourself, you can place it in the altar and it's going to drain what's in the altar. So now, as you can see, I'm at 27, 32, 37. Wow, one gives like 1,700. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right, so this is pretty cool like that we have all this. I know I said pretty cool a lot of times and I just said it again. Uh, but what that means is we're going to be able to now uh, do rituals. And this is pretty much the thing I love about this mod. Because, well, it's just rituals. 79, 80,000. Uh, so the thing we need is things like this. So we need demonic slate, so we'll need imbued slate. Uh, reinforced and imbued, then the next one. Uh, in here, I've got the imbued, so I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna blacklist everything. I'm gonna say just take the, this one. And yeah, so I'm gonna place this guy in there. Oh, oh, whitelist this, sorry. Uh, I may have made an error. So, and then I'm just gonna kill myself a little bit. And it should turn to demonic. There we go. So now we've got a demonic in here. Oh, it was turning into something else. <laughs> no, I need the demonic one. So in here, I'm going to whitelist the demonic. And I'm going to try to do something. That should not work because it's going to put all of them in there at the same time. It's only like 16, so it shouldn't be too bad, but I can't let this thing empty. Come on, come on. You can do it. <laughs> come on, finish and go in the chest. So that we can do some rituals. <laughs> How many do I need to do? <laughs> this is ridiculous. How come it's not done yet? It should. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow, okay. Uh, so, even with the speed runes, it seems to be taking forever. Just need you to turn into a demonic slate. Come on. <laughs> I don't get it. It's been way more than 16 times what I what it took earlier. Ah, uh, there we go. Demonic slate. Perfect. Wow, and that was only tw uh, 13. Oh my god. Okay, so we need to make this thing here. So we've got the Archmage and everything. Uh, the, the Archmage uh, orb, not the Archmage itself. Uh, no, we... Yeah, we should have the Archmage. Where is my Archmage thing? Did I place it in the... Probably in here. Yes, okay. Whew, I don't want to lose that. Okay, so we're gonna put some of the stuff, like the old blood orb, this, some of that, some of that, some of that, some of that, this, 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 that. Alright, so this thing here, we want it to do that. Boom. So ritual thinker. So if you define area information. Hmm. I'm I'm not sure how these things work. Uh, you know, I might have to uh, go read a little bit on how you do ritual in the new thing. So let me let me uh, figure this thing out, and I'll bring you guys back after because uh, it might take me a little bit. Oh, that's because that's the thing we're supposed to do: a ritual diviner. Yeah. That, that makes more sense. Let's make one of those. So we need to make all of these things here. Except that one because, well, I can't make that one. Uh, so we need... Elemental... Air, fire, earth, and water. So water, fire, earth, and air. Okay, so we need this, we need a lapis block, uh, we need obsidian, uh, and I'm missing one thing, glowstone I think? Not 100% certain. Fire, oh magma cream, we should have some of those, yes. There it is. Okay. So the ritual, the the, the ritual thinkerer, uh, master to together basic information about the ritual. Oh, okay, it's okay. It's gonna be okay to use. Uh, let's place you in there. Okay, there we go. We have one. Uh, let's place that one in there. There we go. We have another one. There we go, and the last one. Bam. Okay, let's go back. Alright, so these can now make... I don't know if they need a specific spot. There you go, Ritual Diviner. Uh, we can make the next one already, so uh, we just need to have blocks of coal, uh, which I can make two of them, and we'll make the better one. Uh, the difference is the first one can't place Dusk Runes, and the second one can. Wow, that was quick. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's make the other one. Uh, trying to click doesn't work. Okay, let's place that there, and bam. So now if we shift right click, it's going to go and you're going to see Ritual of the Green Grove, Ritual of the Day, Well of Suffering. That's the one I want. <laughs> That's the one I want because it's going to give us blood directly in our altar. And, well, it's kind of easy to get. I'm just going to put some uh, cursed earth over there and mobs are going to spawn and they're going to die. 
that's mainly what's going to happen. Uh, so the next thing we need is we need a master ritual stone, but we also need a ritual stone. I don't think you normally need to do ritual stone. That's the one I need. Okay. Wait, I don't have that. It's the reinforce. I think they're the one I have in here. Or maybe, oh, I skipped all of them. So I'm going to have to make a bunch of ritual stones. Uh, and uh, I'll bring you guys back when I've got a bunch of those. So, all right, guys. All right, guys, I think I have enough. I don't know how many I need, uh, but if I remember correctly, 28 might be enough. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go here. Uh, oops. Oop. Again, oops. <laughs> how many oops can you say? There we go. We're going to come here and oh. deactivate it. All right, that's good. Uh, so there we go. So as you can see, this is where all the things go. Uh, seeing this, I'm going to move it a one block up. Uh, I don't really have anything to put a block on. So let's put this on a gold block. Okay. So there we go. So it seems to be okay to me. So let's just right click. And it's going to build it. Oh, I need more. I need more. No. All right, guys. Well, again, I'll be right back because, well, this thing takes quite some time to just do the, 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 the slate and things. So, all right, I'll make like the double of what I did. No, I just need like 20. All right, I'll do this. Bring you guys back again. <laughs> All right, so I've done the last piece of it, uh, but I don't think I will be able to uh, do this and finish it on video with you guys, simply because I need to change all the runes of cell sacrifice for runes of sacrifice, so that our system can process of what's happening here at a decent speed and actually, you know, uh, make actual blood from it or it's just not going to work properly. Uh, so I'm just going to explain how exactly I'm going to do this. Uh, in my inventory, I've got a drop of evil. Uh, so I'm going to take just some dirt. I'm going to place it at the bottom. So all the places in between the runes are going to be where I'm going to try to spawn uh, monsters. And these are going to be uh, getting killed by the ritual in itself. Simply because, well, it's its job. <laughs> it's, uh, it's what it is. So on the side, I will put some dark glass. And dark glass will make it that uh, nothing can actually get out. Uh, here, I kind of don't like that this is not finished. Uh, also, one thing I'm not a fan of is the fact that we're going to see dirt from under. But uh, who goes under? Okay, uh, the next thing you need to do with this ritual is you need to have an activation crystal. So let's go blood magic again. And over here, you're going to see that you have a weak activation. So this is for low level ritual, which uh, you need to put the lava crystal into it. On my end, this is a powerful uh, ritual, so I need an activate, an awaken activation crystal, which is actually easier for me to do. Uh, I just had to make another one of those, and there we go. Oh, I didn't actually need to make another one of those. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, this is pretty much it. But my next step is getting rid of all those self sacrifice rune and replacing them with the uh, the other runes. So that means that uh, these needed the reinforced slate and these one, well, they need also reinforced slate. So I will need to make a bunch of those and also uh, more blank runes. Well, it's just blank slate, so it's not too bad. I'm just going to place a couple of stacks of uh, stone and just start uh, pricking myself with this. 
So yeah, but that is going to be it for today, guys. Uh, when you get, we're gonna come back in next episode, all this is going to be filled in, and I'll be able to show it to you from the side, uh, the the sideline where uh, we won't get killed or anything. And yeah, so I do hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.